Narrations tell us, when Lady Zainab was born, Prophet of Islam goes to the house of Fatima, and he names her Zainab after consulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Lady Zainab is crying non-stop. From the moment that she was born, Lady Fatima carries her, she doesn't calm down. Amir al-Mu'minin, her father, carries her, she doesn't calm down. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam carries her, she doesn't calm down. Then the Prophet said, called Hussein, who's also very young, said to Hussein to carry her. He carried her, suddenly she calmed down. He whispered in her ears, she calmed down. I don't know what Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam said to Lady Zainab, but I'm sure that this gave her comfort. Maybe he said to her, Lady Zainab, Ukhtahu ya Zainab, save your tears for the day of Ashura. That's why on the 11th day, when they were about to leave the city of Karbala, Lady Zainab السلام, threw herself from the back of the camel on the body of Hussein and began to remove all the spears and arrows from his body. The decapitated body of Hussein. She began to talk to the master, saying, بين البقاء عندك أو الرحيل. If I was given an option of either staying with you or leaving, لاخترت البقاء عندك ولو أن السباع كلت من لحمي. I would choose to stay with you, Abba Abdullah, even if the wolves of the desert eat me alive. And then four cruel men came and they began to whip the ladies. They began to lash Lady Zainab with their whip. And then they pulled her off the body of her brother Hussein. She looked at the severed head that was on a long spear. She said, My God, I have seen my mother Fatima. While she was combing the hair of Hussein, she was shivering. I said to her, Oh Ma, oh mother, why are you shivering? She said that I don't want a single thread of hair to fall. Oh Fatima, where were you? When the wicked man began to stab the imam with the dagger on his head. Twelve times. Hussein. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. 